Welcome to the second Sunday in Advent. Today we're asking the question, what, what do, do you need, need to get, get straight? straight? Well, hello everyone and welcome to Kamza Connect, your weekly worship service from Cambridge Citadel Salvation Army in the UK. It's the second Sunday of Advent and today we're thinking about getting things straight. And we're in the first chapter of Mark's Gospel looking at what the prophets said about who Jesus would be. In churches, we light the second candle on the Advent wreath today. And for us, that candle is the peace candle. So our episode is very much about peace, how Jesus was the Prince of Peace, and how we sometimes need to get things straight by making peace with each other and with God. Well, coming up in our worship today, we have an old Advent hymn played beautifully on the cornet, as well as music from our junior choir, the singing company, and our worship band too. And have you remembered about the big card where you can send your Christmas greetings for us to put on the screen? That's right. And have you remembered to choose your 10 favourite carols? You have until Saturday the 11th of December to do both of those things. Well, there'll be more on that later. But let's get things started today with a new song set to a very old tune. The words remind us that centuries before his birth in Bethlehem, the coming of Jesus was spoken about by the prophets and it asks... Who will make him welcome? So let's sing together, long ago prophets knew. Say 
Well, thanks for that good sing, everybody. So today we're thinking about the word peace and we all have people or situations in our lives that we long to see peace in. Uh, and when we say peace in the Bible, we're not just talking about peace and quiet type of peace or the absence of conflict or some kind of inner harmony or peace, are we? No, that's right. The peace of the Bible is about the state of wholeness and completeness, about taking action to restore a broken situation. It's not something we can create on our own. It is what the Bible calls a fruit of the Spirit, something that comes by the Spirit of God living in us. So let's pause for a short prayer to ask God for the gift of his peace in our lives and in the world. And in a moment we'll listen to that Advent song, O Come Emmanuel, which echoes the words of the prophets who said that Emmanuel, which means God with us, would bring peace by saving the people of Israel. First though, with a prayer on behalf of us all is one of our congregation members, Alan. Let's pray. And so we pray together, not out of habit, but because we want to. We want to speak to God about the things that are on our minds at this time. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you today, whether we are gathered with other people or watching online. We ask you to be with, with our officers and the leadership team in our core and to bless everything that happens during this month. We think about the carolim, the distributing of toys, the food parcels, Christmas meals, the work of the building and the carol services and the concerts. We ask that many people will be helped materially, but that they will also realise the good news that Jesus was born for them too. Lord, we pray for every member of our core family today, especially those going through tough times. May they know hope and peace and strength. And Lord, we pray for peace in our lives and in our world. May there be peace with one another and peace with you. And at this Christmas time, we ask that your love and grace and peace will come to us in a new way. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Amen.
Well, thanks, Oliver, for that beautiful music. And may Emmanuel, Jesus Christ, come to each of us today. Well, coming up in a moment, our singing company have a new seasonal song. And just as there's been a dusting of snow in some parts of the UK this week, we might see some snow in their video too. Snow? Did you say snow? Yeah. yeah. Ah, that reminds me. What do you call a snowman who's had a bit of a tantrum? A meltdown. What do you call a snowman's dog? A slush puppy. And did you hear about the snowman who fell in love with a mitten? Well, it was glove at first sight. Anyway, well, we'll also have our online offering, so have your smartphone ready for that and the weekly update from Norman. And Norman is going to remind you about the big card, your opportunity to have a Christmas greeting on screen and our Carols with Kamza episode in two weeks time, where it's over to you to choose which carols we'll be singing by nominating your 10 favourite. All right then, all those details are in the video description, but we'll also keep putting them on screen for you too, because it all needs to happen this week. Before all that though, let's jump into today's Bible passage from Mark's Gospel, where the writer recalls words of the prophet Isaiah to make the paths straight. In other words, get things ready, roll out a red carpet for the coming of the King. Well, here to read the verses today is another of our congregation members. Here's Jean. Today's reading is from Mark chapter 1, verses 1 to 8, and I'm reading from the Passion Translation. This is the beginning of the wonderful news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. It starts with Isaiah the prophet who wrote, Listen, I am sending a messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way. He is the thunderous voice of one who shouts in the wilderness. Prepare your hearts for the coming of the Lord your way, and clear a straight path inside your hearts for him. John the Baptizer was the messenger who appeared in an inhabited region, preaching a baptism of repentance for the complete cancellation of sins. A steady stream of people came to be dipped in the Jordan River as they publicly confessed their sins. They came from all over southern Israel, including nearly all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. John wore a rough garment made from camel hair and a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and honey of the wilderness. And this is the message he kept preaching. There is a man coming after me who is greater and a lot more powerful than I am. I am not even worthy to bend down and untie the strap of his sandals. I've baptised you into water, but he will baptise you into the spirit of holiness. Amen. Thank 
quench the Lord and see. cheerful arrangement wasn't it a big thanks to the singing company for bringing us that message in song which was a reminder that the Christmas season is well and truly here now we all like singing or listening to Christmas carols and this year we are carrying out a survey once again for you to choose your favorite carols up to a maximum of 10 you are all invited to take part in this survey and the details of how to access this are in the video description below. Also in the video description below is details of how you can all send Christmas greetings to CAMSA Connect and to all our viewers. The closing date for both of these is this coming Saturday, the 11th of December, and we do hope that you'll be able to take the time to share with us in this way. A big thank you for your donations to our Be A Star appeal. And to date, we've been able to provide approximately 200 food parcels and toys for 400 children. We are so grateful for your support. Last week, the second guest for our online charity concert, It's Virtually Christmas, was revealed. So... Guest number three, Lucy Bunce, will be joining Aubrey Logan and Elliot Chapel, who were announced previously. Next week, our final guest will be revealed. Prayer leaflets for December are now available, and for those of you who are attending worship at the barracks this Sunday, these can be collected. But for those of you receiving our Corps Officers Weekly Update, a copy was attached in update number 87, which was issued last Friday. Any army periodicals that you subscribe to are also available and you can pay for these and your cartridges of course in the usual way by cheque to Karen or by back transfer if you prefer. Each week on this same video channel episodes of Prayer Matters are posted every Wednesday. Kids time is every Sunday at 9am followed by Cams Connect at 10am. 
but next Sunday it's our annual Christmas Jumper Sunday. So we would encourage you to wear yours when watching Cams of Connect next week. Finally, a reminder about the review of our online ministries, which was mentioned last week. Cams of Connect will be continuing with a third season of episodes in 2022, the first of these being on the 9th of January. However, Kids Time and Prayer Matters will conclude at the end of 2021. We do hope that you will continue to share with us each week. Thank you for watching and for listening. It's now time to give to the Lord in our weekly offering. Thanks, Norman, for the update. Now, just to repeat, send your big card messages to bigcard at camza.org.uk and we'll put them on screen at the end of our Carols with Camza episode. And choose which carols we'll be singing for Carols with Camza by visiting tiny.cc forward slash Camza Carols 21 and completing the survey. And don't forget, you have until Saturday the 11th of December to do both, so don't delay. That's right, not much time left. So much excitement and so many instructions mm. as well. Okay, well it's almost time to look a little closer at those words from Mark chapter 1. And we've still got a lovely song from our worship band to come too. But first let's join in a newer song about Jesus coming as the light of the world. Let's sing together, Here I Am to Worship.
I'm going to show you some holiday pictures today. They're of our holiday to a French ski resort in summertime in 2019. The ski resort was called Val d'Alos and it was in the Alpe de Haute Provence. Our little flat um, our apartment set high in the Alps um, where there was one road in and one road out and as you can see it was set in a valley and absolutely beautiful scenery it was peaceful it was just wonderful to get there we joined the A6 from Paris that took us to Dijon where we stayed overnight and then south towards Grenoble where we had lunch the next day easy the roads were quiet and they were straight However, the further from Grenoble that we climbed and got, um, well, the more windy the road. And on occasion, as you can see from this picture, the road was cut into the side of the mountain. And there sometimes was no barrier between uh, the edge of the road and the long drop down. Um, it was so beautiful and so scary at the same time. And we were on that road for a long time. Now, when we got to our destination, which as you can see was really beautiful, we discovered that the road we had traveled on was actually closed each year from October to July. And it was counted as one of the most dangerous roads in Europe. Well, to be honest, we were not in a rush to do that road again. Proverbs 4, 25 to 27 says this, Keep your head up and your eyes straight ahead and your focus fixed on what is in front of you. Take care you don't stray from the straight path, the way of truth, and you will safely reach the end of your road. Do not veer off course to the right or the left. Step away from evil and leave it behind. Well, when we were driving, there was no way you could look to the left or the right. You had to keep your eyes focused completely on the road in front of you or else it was just too dangerous. And the consequences, well, they wouldn't have been good. So in our Bible reading today, we hear John the Baptist quote the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, reminding the people that they were to prepare the way for the Lord to make straight paths for him. So what then does that mean for us? Well, we are going to take a look at that passage in Isaiah 40. A voice of one calling, In the desert prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. So actually this follows on from what we've been talking about over the last few weeks about getting ready for the coming of Jesus now. Make straight paths for our Lord so that there are no more valleys or mountains or hills. The rough ground will be level and smooth and the rugged places a plain. So I guess some of the questions we need to ask ourselves are, what needs to be raised up? What are the areas in our lives that are downhearted, discouraged, in despair? Perhaps we've lost sight of our worth. What areas in our lives need to be made low? Maybe we think too much of ourselves. Maybe because of our own arrogance, we've caused harm or hurt. Perhaps in our own arrogance, we've decided that we don't need Jesus. We have either walked away from him or we're not listening to what he's trying to say to us, willfully choosing to walk a different path. And what are the rough and rugged edges in our lives that we need to make level and smooth? Is there bitterness or anger or envy? Are we still holding on to grudges over something that happened years ago? All of those things and other things I'm sure we can think about that are in our lives, in our hearts, stop us from being at peace with God. Isaiah 40 says that when the paths are made straight, then the glory of the Lord will be revealed. So today, maybe we need to come and kneel before the Lord and ask him to prepare our hearts to make all the rough and rugged smooth and whole once more, or even for the first time. Maybe we even need to be asking the question of ourselves, has the glory of the Lord been revealed in us this week? Here's how Luke in the Passion Translation speaks of the announcement that John the Baptist made. Listen. 
you will hear a thunderous voice in the lonely wilderness telling you to wake up and get your heart ready for the coming of the Lord Yahweh. Make straight every twisted thing in your lives. Bring into light every dark way. Make right every wrong. Remove injustice. Every heart of pride will humbly bow before him. Every deception will be exposed and replaced by the truth to prepare everyone everywhere to see the life of God. Well, today, wherever you are, stop, turn to God and make straight those things that are twisted so that we don't fall off the mountainside and can be at peace with God and with each other. And we'll be so filled with the glory of the Lord as it's revealed in us and to us that we won't have the words to explain all that our hearts will feel except to acknowledge that great are the glories of his name, Emmanuel. God with us. Father God, thank you for this Advent season when we await the coming of your Son, Jesus, into the world. Help us keep our eyes fixed ahead this Advent time and help us get our lives straight. In our hearts, may we roll out a red carpet in preparation for his coming. Lord Jesus, we ask you to straighten out our lives and to show us where we need to get things straight with you and with our fellow human beings. As we go out into the world, make us channels of your peace. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us this week, everybody. And thanks to all the lovely Cambridge Citadel folks who continue to help us with videos each week. We'll be back next Sunday celebrating the Advent word joy. So just to show you that all of us at Cambridge Citadel have a sense of humour, we'll be wearing Christmas jumpers, right? 
Indeed. Exciting. Yes, not those jokes though. Anyway, among the treats we have some festive cheer from Tom and Eddie the Skit Guys, as well as music from our junior band. And we have a brand new song written by two members of our own congregation here at Cambridge Citadel. Marvellous stuff. So don't forget to choose which carols you think we should sing in our final episode of the year, Carols with Kamsa, on the 19th of December. And do send in your Christmas greeting to everybody on Kamsa Connect and all our lovely viewers by emailing your greeting to bigcard at kamsa.org.uk. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. Well, all right then, we'll conclude our time of worship today with a song that invites us to speak out the same message proclaimed by those prophets of long ago, to tell of the greatness of the Lord. So in the meantime, everyone, keep safe, keep well. And keep connected. God, God bless, bless you. you.